Here's some footage of the cupola arriving at the Kennedy Space Center. It came here in October of 2004, waiting a long time for this mission. Both the cupola and Node 3 were built by the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency at Thales Alenia Space in Turin, Italy. The Node 3 and cupola combined are about 22 feet long and 14 feet in diameter. Here's the large Node 3 arriving in the European Airbus. It arrived in May of last year. And one of the first things they did after testing and checking it out was to mate the cupola. And there is the port that uh, the cupola will be berthed on as it rides uphill to the International Space Station. The cupola is attached to the end as shown here, and we will reverse this process during the mission. Uh, because it cannot launch in the payload bay in a configuration with it being on the nadir side, its future and permanent home. So here, last September, is when they were mated. The cupola was then uh, pressurized, checked out, and ready for flight. Here are some graphics showing you the internal configuration of the Node 3. There will be several payload bay racks, uh, the atmosphere and water revitalization system, a treadmill 2 rack, the T2 or Colbert, some additional uh, racks including the oxygen generation system and the waste and hygiene closet or the, the toilet. Here's some internal video of the Node 3 being checked out at the Kennedy Space Center. It's going to go up to the International Space Station mostly empty. empty. A few racks of computers will be installed and some additional stowage racks. The cupola has two grapple fixtures that can be used by the robotic arm, and it's covered by insulation, which once removed can allow the seven window shutters to open up, giving a beautiful view of the universe. 